An Al-Qaeda-linked website has posted a, a, a potential hit list of U.S. targets. It includes 40 specific names, 26 of them with photos attached. Now, the group calls on Muslims living in the United States to carry out deadly one-man terrorist attacks. Joining me right now is NBC's terrorist, terrorism analyst Michael Sheehan. Uh, Michael. How serious is this threat, you think? Well, Richard, in the past, al-Qaeda has not used assassins or targeted individuals, particularly in the West. They've done a little bit in the, in the Middle East and in Pakistan, but not in the West. However, if your name is on that list, uh, you've got to take it pretty seriously. Now, how much detail is given about these people that are on the list? I think it's generally public information. You know, uh -huh. This is Adam Gadan and some of these other terrorist uh, operatives of al-Qaeda basically went through the usual list of defense and security officials, maybe a few from the defense industry, public them, got some information or photos off of Wikipedia and put it out there. So what does the government do to try to give comfort to those who are on the list? Well, it's anything. a little difficult yeah. because many of them are ex-officials or outside of government. So the FBI obviously reaching out to, to, to notify them and warn them and perhaps give them some tips about how perhaps to protect themselves a little bit. But in order to provide security, that's going to be take another uh, step by the government. So you brought the point they don't have assassins, right? But there's Not the normally. issue. Yeah. The issue is of the lone wolves that are out there. Right. You You've reported on so many of those cases, talked about so many of those cases. That has to be the concern because you don't know where they're at. Absolutely. Any guy with a gun, like the Major Hassan in Fort, for Fort Hood killing, here's a guy who had access to a handgun, as any American could have, and, and he could track or stalk one of these ex officials or, or an official and, uh, and, and take a pop at him. It's, it's a pretty dangerous scenario. They want the leaders of jihad to undertake this. Who are the leaders of jihad? Well, that's just some jargon from them. Really, what they're trying to do is motivate those people right. that are in their in their camp that may be in the United States uh, reading their websites, being motivated by the narrative, by the doctrine, to take up a weapon and try to get one of these Quickly, guys. Quickly, have they done this before? Have, have, have lists been put out before? They've put out lists before, but this is the first that's been that's this specific in terms of a hit list and actually uh, urging their membership to take action. It's, it's fairly unique. Thank you so much. Sure, Richard.